everybody, this is Sonia back again and I'm going to show you now today what else I've been making. I've been working on a few bits and pieces over the time. Well, I haven't been on here and I, uh, the reason has been because the kitchen and the floor are out there and now the painter's got to do the painting, so I haven't made a cushion cover. Well, I'm cheating because I haven't made the other side yet, but, you know, so I've crocheted that. So from that idea, things just come to you, you know, and you remember things and, you know, you give yourself, now I'm going to do that and I can't reach this now, so that's not very good. Let me see. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, I put it there so I could reach it even, you know. Anyway, so I made, today I made this. Right. Now... I thought that was so much fun. I remember seeing a, not a tutorial, I don't think I seen a tutorial, but I did see where Annie at Annie's Garden Grove did show you her crochet jars. And I thought, well, oh boy, I want to try one of those. And I did this this morning, okay? And I've actually glued it on. Um, I must say, I've got a got to put a bit of paper in there. Uh, it's, only, it's new, but it's, of course it must have been, they must have painted that. I didn't, and when I've opened, sh I've opened and shut it, it sort of made a line there, but it, it'll be okay. We won't fuss too much about it. Now, I used the same sort of wall as I did to wrap the tree that i done. Uh, and I thought now I could put this on the top because this looks yummy. Doesn't that look yummy? It's just like, wow. <laughs> And um, anyway, so people will need to know how to crochet basically to do this, okay? Now, I know that probably a lot of you don't know how, um, and I did this working with the actual jar to use it to make it bigger, you know, like um, where you have to go in and out and so forth to the, for the shape of it. So it's not actually a pattern as such, um, if you understand, there's not a basic pattern for. Well, it would be for that size jar if I if I wrote it down. But I didn't do that because I'm well. I was making it so. But anyway, now I've got myself all confused here and tongue tied. I thought I would just do another one and show you how and what I do. Now um, the lid on this is not the same, but I'll just have to figure out how to do that as I get there, I guess. Uh, so I'm just going to give you an idea how to do this. I'm hoping that people that can't crochet don't get <laughs> too um, worried. I There's lots of people that teach you how, um, so if you just can't work out what I'm doing because I'm actually in the wrong place to be showing you how to do it, maybe you can follow me, my way or not, I don't know. But anyway, so this is how, for those of people that can crochet, you will know the stitches and I'm just going to show you the basics idea of when I, how I changed what I was doing as I was going along. So anyway, so we start off by just doing a, a, um, a loop, okay? So we do chain, so I chain one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I did five, but I did five. And then I go back into the end there and I bring that through, okay, to the first chain I bring through. Now I've in, got into the habit of always holding the loop here that's left over, always holding that behind here and picking it up as I go. So I'm just going to do another one, two, three chain, and then I'll do a treble which I'll wrap around there. And I know this is different in other countries. This would be a different stitch to Australia. We call it treble here. So I'll wrap up, go around my wall, back in there, and down through there and catch that, bring it back and hook that over <laughs> this is probably going too fast and I'm so sorry if I am but I cannot really um, I will probably do a tutorial at some time on how I did how I do that okay so now I've got a little cluster there of um, things which is actually called a shiller I think so but anyway so I'll do one chain and then I'll do the same thing again I'll do three treble one catching that tail as I'm going, two, three, and then I'm going to cut that tail off so he's not in my road but he's all secure in under the back of there, okay, make sure you cut the right things on you, 
start crying if we make a mistake. Okay, now. So this is why I did different to the lid too. I did this <coughs> because this is the same way as I did the round for the cushion. Okay, <coughs> I think. Yes, yes it is. Now, so I'll do one chain and then do three, three more treble. One chain. Now, as you're doing this, you're going to be putting it onto your item that you are covering to measure it all the way you go. That way, and then one chain, and then I go to the top of this first. Um, chain stitches that I did to start with and pull that through like that. Okay, so now I've got four sections there. One, two, three, like four little bits. So this is my jar. I'm going to have to pull the bottom thing off that. Oh, that didn't work very good. Okay, so I need it to be <coughs> bigger. I'll do another row. This time when I'm doing it, I'm going to do um, I'm going to increase, so I'll do one, two, three, chain, go in here and do one, two, treble, and then I'm going to do one chain, and I'm going to, into here, I'm going to do three, treble, one, two, three, one chain, and one, two, three, and one chain, and into the space, I'll do this again. Now this is like going around doing a granny square, okay, that's what we're really nearly doing, and you're going to figure out that it's not going to go around the circle, but it will when I show you how, or what I do next, okay, there's nothing amazing, everybody knows about crochet and knows how to do it, so I, um, yeah, well, this is more or less like a granny square. That's what we're doing to start with. I don't know what I'm thinking, but anyway, I should have said that to start with. But I'm um, one chain. I'll just keep going around here because I just wanted to show you very basically what I'm doing um, so you can do it too and cover your jars. Now, I did have the idea, and I thought it might be, that you could wrap the jars with the, co with the wall. Now we could try that and see how that works because I haven't I thought about that after I finished crocheting. I like the idea of the crochet because it looks really nice I reckon. It gives the thing a different effect. It gives it a different personality to every other thing like you know like a bit of lace or, or whatever. It's it, it's different isn't it? To, to, I love lace, don't get me wrong, but I think that this is a different way and when Annie showed the one she'd done I thought oh gee I've got to have some of those. So here I am making some so but anyway so I've done that now the bottom of the jar is still got to have another row around it and this time but I'm only going to be putting um, I'm going to do a pink actually I'm going to do a blue I'm going to do this in blue aren't I? accent on blue no well I can't now because I've already started that so I'll do an accent on pink which I did not bring the pink in with me I don't believe that's on it why didn't you bring the pink I might have to do um, just a white, just a white fluffy one, I guess. I'm not happy with that. Sonia, why did you bring the blue in? I'm thinking, goodness gracious me, girl. I thought I was all prepared, you know, because I thought I was going to do a blue one. Well, it won't matter if I did put blue in there. Let's try it. That's not going to be an issue, I don't think. We'll have a go. Anything's different. You don't have to be, you don't have to stick to the... Now, another thing, I use a very small needle when I do mine because I like to have my work very, um, like not tight, but, you know, nice and firm. It would recommend that you use a five or a four and a half um, needle if you actually read on some of the patterns with this size wool. But I won't. I use a three and a, a 3.5 because I want it to stay... Um, like I said, nice and firm. Uh, it's just my way because maybe I, I might do it loose, so I need it to be a little smaller needle so I can knit it or crochet it properly, okay, that I'm, that I'm happy with. So I'm just going to put now around the edge of this, I want to just do a probably 
a double crochet. So I'm going to do, I'll pull that tightly, slide the other piece in and do two, two chain. And now I'm just going to put a double crochet into each one of these, which you don't catch it first, you just go straight through and come back and pick it up now, okay? And into the next one, and into the next one, and into the next one. And I might put a increase in that one. Now in, when I'm saying into the next one, you're into the next top of your treble, into the next one, into the next one, and I'll put an increase in this one. Into the next one, next one. An increase means you will do two in the one spot. Now, <laughs> you can see that I'm just making this up as I'm going along, okay, because that's how I'm going to get it to fit in there. Just going to have to make it up as I go along. Um, so we'll increase in the corner. And I'm hoping that this is getting big enough to go around the bottom of the jar. So we have to go, so it's not too bad. We're not doing too bad. We can nearly say that it's probably right. Uh, increase in this one. And just a single one in there. A single one in there. Increase in the corner. Two. Now my, this is curling up a bit, and that's because I do it with a really small needle compared to the size of the wool. It's only picking up though a little bit. If it's really bad then you need to just change your what you're working with, okay? So I'll do two in here, you get a bigger needle, okay? Two. I haven't crocheted for a long time but now I've got carried away with it and it's something I can do when it's not, you know, when I'm sitting out in the pool because it's really hot now here. Oops. Caught the tail there. Got it by the tail end from the other bit, which I should have tried to crochet that in as I was going along, which I didn't do that. Okay, so don't do what I'm doing. Do, you can see if you can crochet it in there as you're going along. I will just get my crochet hook, and maybe I'll get a smaller one, because I've got a few here. I don't know if I've got a little one, though. No. And what I do is just come back in. I suppose most people do that. Just come back in along here. It's probably too thick. Here. To pick that up, I'm coming back in the back of my work, and I'm going to hook that round there, and I'm going to take it back through along there so you got your, your end tied off. So we're going back now around to this bit. Did you never seen anybody do <laughs> tutorial like this before? But it's just how I work, so we'll have a go. <laughs> anyway, so we'll put another one in the, at the beginning, and then we're going to join it up by putting that putting a hook through the top of that first chain and pulling that back and there you are you've got that completed like so. Now I'm going to go again because I don't think I've got enough quite yet so I might just go around and do that again. This time I still will increase because I think it needs to, to do that because I don't want it to be over too far. I could have just put a treble around there it would have fit. Well this is different it's you know this is what I'm doing today I guess. Don't want to have to do it and then pull it undone. So we'll do two chain and go around here again, two, one in there, and one in there, and then you can see where you've got two here, so in those two, there's two chains, so we'll do two in this one, like so. We're still making more or less of a square, which I'm not really wanting to go with, but we'll see what happens when we get to the end. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to double a whole lot, I'm going to increase the whole way around, so I'm pulling that out. And I'm going to increase the whole way, and I'm thinking now I might do the treble row because I don't want to take it undone. I really don't. But it wouldn't matter if it was a little bit rounder, would it? Wouldn't wouldn't hurt at all. Since I'm only doing a double crochet, this is not going to affect the, um, the size that much, I don't think. So one, two, and we'll go one in there. Let's do every second one. Two, one, two, one, one two, one, one, two, one, one, two, I've got to work out how to edit these things so I, I can do it, I'm just, oh well, you know, haven't seen me for a long time, I'm having a big visit today, <laughs> two. ah dear, so one, 
one in one and two in the next one okay and now we're sort of starting to look like it might be going around in a circle all right one two and if you all you need to know how to do is the basic chain and these and um double crochet and treble it and then you can make something you know it's not that hard at all one am I up to one or one or two I'm up to two I meant two one one two I hope I'm in the shot doing this and I hope you just can follow what I'm doing upside down it's not very nice is it but I'm I'm gonna have to get the camera put behind me I'm only going to show you how to go up around the bottom, which is not that hard, but and then you can go along and do your own. <clears throat> Anybody makes them, you'll have to give us a look. So I think they look really cool. You all make their own different sorts of their own way. Please yourself how you do them. I think they look really good and appreciate. Some people might want to like to knit them because it's not that hard, you know. And I say that it's probably because I know how to knit as well, but I'm sorry, you know, for those people that don't know, I'm really sorry for saying it's not that hard. Um, now I want to put this here to join that up at the end, right? So now we should have something that should fit around the bottom of the jar. Okay, now that was a bit better that I increased a little bit a bit further because you've got to gradually bring it out just to see how it goes. You don't want to be, you know, be flopping all over the place. Now, to come up the side, I'm actually going to do use, I think I'll use the white just to show you this because I'm going to cut that off. I'll just put the white in there. I want to show you, you just do each one and that way you're going to bring, it'll come around the side of your jar. So you don't want to increase anything, you just one, two, three, and then we're just going to go into every um, treble that we did and just do one treble. There we go there. Okay. Wrap it round through. I hope everybody's having a nice day. It's really hot here. The fans there making a fizzing noise now behind you. Behind me, I should say. So behind you has been at the camera. <laughs> it's behind the camera. And it's making a fizzing noise. So as we go around here, you will start to notice in a while, when I get a bit further, that this is going to start to turn up so it will go around the edge of the jar. So once you bring your circle out, you do this then to bring it up straight okay so it'll come around the sides now fancy me not have nothing to say I'm talking too much but, um, my daughter's gone to orange again today she's going to do some Christmas shop shopping and then they're going out to one of the orchards and they're going to pick some cherries that's how they're you're allowed to go on to the orchards when the, you know it's where, the, where they are supervised I suppose there's people there then you go and you pick your own cherries and <laughs> so that's what she's going to do and I said to her I bought some here for eight dollars ninety nine a kilo the other day and they were really nice so I hope she doesn't have to pay any more than that for them because you know that's sometimes you do go to these places and they have a big price on things but anyway because that's where they actually come from you know and that's about an hour and I don't know and a quarter hour and a half drive away from here and um, so her and her boyfriend are going to go and um, pick cherries today it's so, good she's buying they're buying a house and they're moving she's moving down to Bathurst and that's Two, probably two and a half hours away from home 
I'm not looking forward to that at all. I'm not I'm just just even not looking forward to that, you know. Really not. This is not bringing it round as close as close as what I would have liked it to have done. But hopefully the next row will improve on that somewhat. Anyway, so we'll just put that into there. And right, so <coughs> as you can see now we're trying to, we're starting to form into a little cup. And that way your little jar is going to go into there. Now I'm finding now that is a wee bit big, you know, well, when I say wee bit big, for the next row I will probably do a, um, well I'll show you, I'll show you what I'll do. To make this <coughs> a little bit tighter, I will just go into, go into the, I'll do a slip stitch, okay? So I might miss the first one, go into there and pull that round. Go into the next one and pull it through, into the next one and pull it through, and this will bring it in for me. Hopefully not too far. We'll see what happens, eh? See if I made a mistake with me, you know, this idea or not. You know, just pull it through. Just put that through there and pull your hook through. You see people on here doing the most amazing things with crochet. It's a good thing, I think, because if you've got to pull it on, then you only got one stitch. You don't, it's not like then you've got to take all them stitches up done. You make a mistake. Yeah. Hopefully this is going to pull it in a bit. I don't know, it might. Might not. It's making an edge. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to sneak past that one. Oh, that means I actually, wait a minute, whoops. No. I took one in. And when I get round here a bit further, I might take another one in. Which means I went past one. And I'll go a bit further. And I'll take another one. <coughs> miss, miss one. This one first. Just wait a minute, we'll check it first before we do anything too more too drastic there. It is still a bit big, so I'm going to miss here and go into the next one. We'll do about six, I suppose. Two, three, four, five, six, and miss one and do the, and go into the next one. And this is how you can bring it in and make it sort of a bit tighter if you need to. So where am I up to? Am I doing one, two, three? Okay, I'm here. I'm going to in the wrong place on you. Okay. And then I'll miss one in that part and go into the next one. One, two, nearly to the end. Three. Here's where I started, so I'm just going to go in. I can see what I'm doing, which I can't. Hang on, I'm getting under there and pull that together, and that will be that row. Okay, now it looks like our little pot would be a bit better. So, and we've decreased a little bit as well as increased um, by decreasing. I mean, we've skipped them and gone around now. All I've got to do is just decide what I'm going to make and bring it up the sides which colours I'm going to use and you just come up to the sides and then if your jar goes in at the top you can sort of decrease the way I did as well by just missing missing a, a thing and going on to the next one so um, I'm hoping everybody can <laughs> can handle that and I just well I'll just give you a quick idea of how I did the little the loopy parts around here with the little loops that I put on that's very very easy I didn't want to do anything that's going to be too hard to show you, so I'm going to just do this. And all you did, all I did was six chain, five, six chain, and I went into the one. I don't think I missed one. Or did I miss one? Yeah, I missed one, which I have done there actually, and just pull that through. Okay, so you do six chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, and well, go miss one and go into the next one which I'm find it really hard to see this because it here we go. Did I miss one? Yeah. Okay. I'm going through there like that. And that's how your little just keep going around doing that. Just go 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Because if you don't miss one, which you need to do, you might miss one there, so I'm this one here, you won't, it'll just pull straight through. It'll be too close together. Yeah, I don't like it when it does that. It means that it's all come it's all pulling apart on me, so coming at you. <laughs> Sorry. I've got a bit of a thing happening with my wool. Looping it along there. Actually this is not wool, it's acrylic it's acrylic what I'm using. <clears throat> and I don't know what it's called. This one here will done with that's acrylic or not. It's polyester. This might be polyester, acrylic polyester or some sort of thing, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So you miss one and go into the next one. And if you don't miss one, is what I'm what I was saying before. And you know what? That all went sideways because I did I missed two. There you go. If you don't miss one, they will be really close together and they will sort of look like that. Which you can have that effect if you wanted to. But I was missing them as I was going around, so I did that. Then after I did the top, which I did exactly the same way as I did the bottom, I then did a flower and put it on with that going around there. So anyway, I hope that you um, hope it's not too <laughs> hard to understand. A bit clearer than mud, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so thank you everybody for watching and hopefully I'll be able to come on here again a bit later today and do a couple more things because I've been working on other things as well. So I'm going to show you a few more things that I've been doing. I, like I said, you know, flip from one thing to another like a butterfly and I need to finish a few projects to show you how they ended up when I finished them. Like the dominoes, Sonia. I haven't done them yet, people. They're still sitting here in my drawer. Look at these. Looking good though, I thought. I need to finish them off, don't I? I have a habit of doing things like this and then, but it's a good thing in a way because then when I go to do something, I've nearly finished it. If you understand, <laughs> I need something that's nearly done then when I go to finish it. It'd be better if it was completely finished though, wouldn't it? So anyway, so I hope everybody likes my little jar cover. I'm excited about it. I really like it. I don't know where did the thing went that was on the top of it now. Here we go. I made that flower and I thought I'd look really good on there. Or I suppose we could put this on here, the little pommy pom things off a piece of wool that I got. Hang on, that's got a bit of green on it because it was all different colours. And I didn't know whether to put that on there. Which he doesn't do anything, does he? He doesn't do anything amazing. This, on the other hand, does. It has the amazing effect of the look of it. And you could actually crochet that without putting it onto a jar, of course. But my idea was, it being on the jar, you can put anything in there. Lollies or, you know, pins if you wanted to. Buttons or, um, you know, a bit of, bit of something a bit of something that somebody might like and give it that. I think that would be a really nice Christmas present for someone. So thank you everybody for watching. And I'll get back to you later. I've got to go and have my lunch. It's nearly 3 o'clock in the afternoon takes me a while to get started onto here. Um, I can't think of anything else at the moment that I wanted to, to share with you, but I, I know I do have um, some projects that I want to show you so that I've done, so we'll, we'll get back on that after. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.